What's up guys, today I'm back over on the layout and I had a, a few questions and stuff on some of the stuff I used to weather and I thought I'd go over uh, each uh, item and uh, help maybe uh, explain it a little better. So uh, I've set out a few items over here that I like to use and I'll try to go over them with you and explain how I use them and everything. I'm not going to show you exactly what I do because I'll have to do that in another video, but I'll kind of explain it. Um, I got some different types of paints and some Krylon over there, and then I've got uh, my airbrush and uh, my powders that I've mixed up. Different colors, different colors of rust, stuff like that. Um, First of all, I'd like to start with the airbrush. That probably accounts for 90% of, of weathering. Um, if you don't have one and you are seriously wanting to get into doing this, I highly recommend getting an airbrush. There's all kinds of different types. Um, I can't really tell you what's best and what ain't. This one here, I've had it for quite some time, and it seems to be a pretty good one. It's a double action, I do know that. And I can't pronounce how the the company, it starts with a P. But, uh, definitely need one of these. Practice with it. Uh, when you first get it, like I did, I just sprayed different things, just playing around with it, and until uh, I learned how to use it decent. And But you'll find, uh, with this, you, you really, really can do a lot with one of these. And hell, even if you want to paint, you know, paint your locomotive, you can do that. So, really handy. Um, over here's the different types of paints I use. Um, I use flow quills. There's a grime, you know, grimy black, just different colors like that. Whoops. Um, they are kind of expensive. But I also use these cheap paints like these from Walmart and the craft store. You can get them for like 50 cents, 97 cents. They're cheap and... You can mix them up and make some pretty good uh, collars and stuff with them, too. Um, Krylon, matte, matte finish, doll finish, that helps when you're working with the powders. Um, so, next I want to talk about the powders. There's a couple different things you can do with powders. There's a company that is called AIM, AIM, I think, and they make weathering powders you can search google search it i know you can buy them on ebay even some hobby stores and stuff carry them uh but that's what it's aim weathering powders and they make like 30 some different collars i mean they're pretty nice i've never used them personally because i can't find them anywhere down here where i live we just ain't that lucky i, I know i could order them off the internet but what i do is i go to a craft store and i buy these right here these are, uh, they're called pastel um, chalk sticks, and there's little square sticks like this. This company that makes them is called Generals. I can't see that very well, but uh, let me see here. Yeah. Generals Pastel, and they come in, I don't have the package because I've had these for hell probably a year, but... Um, I buy the earth tones, which are like the black, and then these like a light color rust, a dark rust, there's a red, like a reddish color, and what I do with these is I take them on a piece of sandpaper, and I just grind them down like that, and which, you know, turns them into powder, and then I put them in this thing here, and I have the different colors all separated and everything and I even make my own collars like this one right uh, here no here I've took the darker color rust in black and made a really dark rust with it which I like a lot but that's how I make my powders but like I said too you can buy straight weathering powders I haven't done that yet but I might order me some um but yeah like i said generals pastel uh chalk sticks or something like that there you'll find them at a craft store they should have them 
and I just break them down and then take them on the sandpaper and turn them into powders and that's how I use it another thing that's easy is these paint pens you can buy these at Walmart too not this brand but I think Elmer's makes them but these are for the wheels like especially on rolling stock they usually come they're like black or silver or something just paint this right around your wheels and it'll make them look you know a lot, lot more realistic than like I said being black or silver or something like that but paint pen um, this too you can get this at a craft store this stuff's awesome gallery of burnt umber this is like an oil paint this is really really good for making rust with use this with the powders and you can make some really really realistic looking rust kind of like how that's how I've done on this locomotive here and it really really looks really good but uh I wanted to share it with you guys. If you have any more questions or comments, um, concerns, any of that kind of stuff, let me know. I'd be glad to help you. Um, if uh, I, I may try to upload another video of me actually using some of this stuff. I'm trying to figure out how to do it and keep it in a timely fashion. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe, whatever, and I'll uh, see you all next time.